That Organic Mom here and today we will be making two different recipes using some spices from the raw spice bar and I'll tell you more about the raw spice bar at the end of this video. The first recipe we are going to make today is Vadovan curry shrimp and I'll add a link to the recipe on their website in the description box below. We're going to start out by adding two tablespoons of avocado oil to our skillet and heating it to medium heat. Next, we are going to add six garlic cloves that we have minced and four chopped shallots. Now we shall let them cook until they start to get soft and fragrant about one to two minutes and then after that we're going to put about two tablespoons of water in the pan with the shallots and garlic and then cover it with a lid and reduce the heat to low for about five to ten minutes just to let the onions and garlic get really soft. Now we are going to add salt to taste and I like to use some pink Himalayan salt crystals that you can just crack or grind over the pan and I like my food a little bit saltier than my kids so I just add more salt later. And then we're going to add our Indo-French Vadovan spice packet from the raw spice bar and this is very fragrant and has a strong um, Indian spice smell to it. And we ended up really enjoying using this spice blend. So we're just gonna go ahead and add that spice into the pan with the sauteed onions and garlic, and then just stir it around to mix it up really well. So once the spices and the onion and garlic are stirred up and combined really well, we decided that we were going to add an extra ingredient to our recipe. The recipe doesn't call for this, but we like mushrooms and we had some in the fridge, so we decided to go ahead and add some sliced mushrooms to our version of this recipe. When the mushrooms are tender, we are just going to take them out of the pan and put them into a bowl and set that aside while we get ready to prepare our shrimp. It's not necessary to wash the pan in between these steps, so we are just going to go ahead and add our two tablespoons of butter to the pan and spread it around to get ready to put in our shrimp. And then next, we are going to add about 24 large shrimp and we like to use wild caught shrimp. We want to try to put the shrimp in a single layer if possible and then we want to salt it just a little bit and go ahead and cook that over medium heat until it starts to brown a little and then we're going to flip the shrimp over so that they're cooking evenly on both sides. While our shrimp are cooking, we're going to go ahead and add another teaspoon or two of the Indo-French Vadovan spice blend and let it continue cooking until the shrimp is completely cooked. Now that our shrimp are completely cooked, we are going to go ahead and stir in our shallot garlic mixture. Next, we are adding the zest and juice of one lime, and we also have an additional lime set aside for after the dish is prepared. My family enjoyed this dish over rice, but you could also use it as a standalone dish or over noodles or spiralized vegetables or even riced cauliflower. It is a hot plate. Oh yeah. Oh, gotta get some rice in there. This little shrimp will be good for one bite. Mm. It's so good. It's like the perfect taste of everything and they smell amazing. Mm. 
Next, we're going to prepare a recipe that came with the packet. It is peppercorn masala chai. And we are just going to add three cups of our favorite type of milk to the pan. You can use almond milk, cashew milk, just whole milk or whatever type of milk you use. And then the next ingredient is six teaspoons of sweetener. We are using coconut sugar for this and we used exactly six heaping teaspoons of coconut sugar. And next we are going to add six teaspoons of loose black tea leaves. You can use whatever type of black tea leaves you have on hand. And these are the ones we're using today. You're just gonna go ahead and add that straight into the milk, just right in the pan and we're gonna stir that up, but don't worry because we're gonna strain those tea leaves out before we drink it. Now we're ready to add our peppercorn chai spice packet. We're gonna just open this up and just dump the entire spice packet into our milk mixture. We're going to allow this mixture to heat and come to a boil, being careful not to let it scorch, and we are going to keep whisking it. Once the mixture has come to a boil, we're going to turn off the heat and we are going to strain the mixture into our cups. Now I did add an extra step to this by doing my own whipping cream and I use just a immersion blender whisk attachment to whip heavy cream and so I just like to top our chai with that the kids really like heavy whipping cream whipped up like this so um, you can just use the stuff in a can if you want to or if you want it's so easy you can just whip up some like this and then to top our whipped topping I mixed up some coconut sugar and cinnamon and put it in a shaker and just sprinkled some of that on top of our drinks. Hot, but good. Ooh, really the good. flavor is super good. That's a good chai. I like it. Burned my tongue. Good. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and if you want to find out more about the raw spice bar just click the link in the description below and you can find out how to sign up and receive three freshly ground recipe ready flavor kits delivered right to you every month thanks for watching mm -hmm.